Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the multivariate normal distribution. Today, in this lecture, I will explain you how you can find the characteristics functions of this distribution. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of applied multivariate statistics and you can see the various lectures related to the bivariate, multivariate, normal distribution, transformation, independent. And the last lecture we have discussed about the moment generating function and the properties. Now, you can simply follow my uh, follow my YouTube channel so that you can get a notification when I uploaded my next video in advance. So what we have discussed in our last lecture, we have defined the moment generating function which you can found from this lecture. What is the property of this? We have also described the various properties of this moment generating function. Now, in this lecture, we will define the characteristics function. You can see what is the x? x is my multivariate normal distribution. That means x is my x1, x2 and say xp where each will follow the normal distribution with the mean vector mu and the covariance matrix sigma. Then we can define the characteristics function which is denoted by phi. This x is defined from the random variable. T is the generating parameter and it is defined as expected value of e raised to power iota t transpose. Why is it transpose? Because it is a vector and when you multiply the ve two vector quantity here t will be my t1, t2 up to because the dimension is my p so it is a t p. It is my p cross 1. Now based on this definition we can define the moment unit, we can define the characteristics functions of this multivariate normal distribution. The first result is if you have the multivariate normal distribution this quantity x then the characteristics function is defined like this manner where mu is the co, uh, mu is the mean vector sigma is the covariance matrix. How you can prove this result? So before I can prove directly to this result let me quickly prove this first result. That means if you have a variable uh, if you have the real variable t that is part of the rp and z z is the component of z1 z2 up to zp each will follows the normal distribution with the mean 0 and covariance matrix i then you can define the characteristics function of this standard normal distribution is this number now clearly say this covariance matrix is my identity. So what does it mean? That means it's a 1, 0, 0. It's 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0 and 1. That's the meaning of this identity matrix. That means this is my Z1, this is Z2, this is Zp. Similarly, Z1, Z2 and Zp. Now from this covariance matrix, from this covariance matrix, we can easily see what is the covariance between z i and z j whenever i is not equal to j. So can you find that? Every time we will get as a zero number. So what is the impl what is the meaning of that? When the covariance is zero, that means z i and z j are my independent. That's the property of this. That's the property of the independent random variable. So I can start from this result. Now since covariance of each zi and zj are 0, so therefore zi's are my independent. Now what is the property, what is the zi behavior? Since zi is follows normal distribution with mean 0 and covariance or variance is my 1. So therefore can you find the characteristics function of this zi? Now since it is an individual element, so that means we can say this is my univariate normal distribution and once it's a univariate normal distribution what is the expected value of this number that is e raised to power sorry it's a t square e raised to power t square minus t square divided by 2 because we are talking about the i so i can say it's a t i square now z i are my independent fine and your z will be z1 up to z p and we know this the characteristics function of z1 is this characteristics function of the zp is my this and they are independent so what is the property of the independence function that means characteristics function of this will be 
product of i is 1 to p characteristics function of this term. Now I can substitute this value. This is my z i. I can substitute this value here. This is my product i varies from 1 to i e raised to power minus t i square divided by 2. So now I can return this number is minus t i square divided by 2. Fine. Now since what is my small t? Small t is my t1 up to t p that is my p cross 1. So if t is my p cross 1, what is the t transpose? It is my 1 cross p. So therefore, what is the t transpose into t? It is my 1 cross 1. And if you start from here, what is the t transpose into t? That is my t1 square, t2 square up to tp square. So that means this value, this value I can return as t transpose into t. So that is the required result of this characteristics function. Now, now come to the main result. If x follows the multivariate normal distribution, then how you can find the characteristics function? Again, a very simple. What is given to you? x follows my multivariate normal distribution. What is the definition of this? What is the definition of the multivariate normal distribution? I can write x in terms of this. Fine. Where? What is a z? Where z follows multivariate normal distribution of this quantity and they are independent. Fine. This is the property of the z. What is the property of the a? Where a is my non-singular matrix. Fine. a is my non-singular matrix such that when you multiply a into a transpose that comes to be my covariance matrix. And this mu is my mean of this vector. So by the definition of this multivariate, I can define x to be mu plus az, where z is my normal distribution and a is my non-singular matrix such that this quantity hold. Now let's start with the definition of this characteristics function. What is the definition of the characteristics function? Expected value iota t transpose of x. Fine. I can substitute this value of x at this point. So that comes to be, if I multiply them, if you open this, it gives you this number. Now, we all know expected value of this value, where a is my constant, it can be written like this manner. Now, t transpose is my 1 cross p matrix, a vector. Mu is my p cross 1, because this is my mean vector. It is given to you. It's a constant vector. This is also the constant number. So when you multiply them, it is my 1 cross 1 and it's a constant number. So therefore, you can see this value is my constant. I can put this number outside the bracket. So it will be expected value of iota t transpose a into z. Fine. Okay. Then another thing is Another result is now because this quantity hold now you can see I can return this value this is t transpose of mu what is the a b transpose I can return this is b transpose into a transpose so this number I can return like expected value iota this is transpose of z so can you substitute this value what is the transpose a transpose into t by using this property. Now, therefore, what is the what is the meaning of this? If you compare this by the definition of the moment uh, by the definition of the characteristics function, it give you again the characteristics function of this z, but t will be my here. Fine. Now, what is that? In the last uh, last example, I have defined this is the expected value of iota t dash t dash divided by 2 oh sorry it's a, not a iota it's a negative it's a minus this number so where t is my this number in this case here t is my this parameter so i can substitute this point at this 
it will be expected value minus a transpose this is t transpose into t divided by 2 fine now i can open this bracket i can simply write this component firstly a transpose this a transpose of t so that comes to be again i can use the property of a b transpose b transpose a transpose so that will be t transpose transpose of transpose is my this number this into what is the value of a into a transpose that is my covariance matrix so this sigma into t so this number i can replace this number to be t transpose sigma into t transpose so that part is comes to be this is the required characteristics function of multivariate normal distribution okay look at this another one if x is my multivariate normal distribution z is any transformation that is called as linear transformation fine then how you can find the trans how you can find the characteristics function of this transformation so it's a very simple i will tell you the two method first method and the second method firstly what is given to you x follows multivariate normal distribution so what does it implies can you find the characteristics function of this as i define you in the last example it is minus half t transpose sigma into t fine now what is given to you z is my d into x which is my linear transformation fine so by using the lecture of linear transformation that is this lecture by using that lecture of this trans linear transformation we know d uh, we know z will follows again a multivariate normal distribution with the mean d into nu and covariance matrix is d into d transpose fine we know this transformation here so now what is the first method is how you can find that again you can see this will follows my multivariate normal distribution and this is the formula for the multivariate normal distribution the only difference is i can replace mu to be the d of mu and sigma to be d sigma d transpose in this equation number one and that is the required proof of this result this is the mu and this is the sigma and you can see that is the required answer of this method second method is i can start from the definition of the characteristics function i can substitute the value of the z z is my d into x i can substitute here again again i can write this in terms of the what is that again i can use this property this is b transpose into a transpose so this is iota this into d transpose into t of this number fine and you can see this property is my characteristics function of the phi characteristics function of the x with the parameter d transpose of t because remember that what is the characteristics function definition is expected value e raised to power iota t transpose of x whatever the t here that's the same value of this number in this case t is my d transpose of t now i can substitute the value of what is that uh, what is the characteristics function of this x you can see i can return this is d of x d transpose t now i can substitute i can replace i can replace t to be the d transpose t everywhere so that means this number will be iota d transpose t of transpose mu minus half it's a d transpose t sigma d transpose of t fine now i can again use this property that is a ab transpose is t transpose d transpose of this is my this number minus half again i can use this transpose this transpose is a d sigma 
d transpose into t and you can see that is the required proof of this result okay look at this numerical example if x follows my multivariate normal distribution with the two that means x is my x1 and x2 what is the meaning of that 2 and 3 that is a mu 1 that is a mean of x1 is my 2 mean of the second variable x2 is my 3 what is the meaning of this diagonal entries that is a variance of x1 variance of x1 will be my 2 variance of x2 again this is my 2 because this quantity is written as x1 x2 and it is x1 x2 and covariance of x1 comma x2 x1 comma x2 is my minus 1 it is similar to the covariance of x2 x1 fine then your target is to find characteristics function of this t now this x is my 2 cross 1 so therefore i can assume t is my again 2 cross 1 it's a 2 variable so by the definition of the characteristics function i can take t is my 2 cross 1 substitute here now can you find the t transpose of mu what is the t transpose t1 of t2 and mu will be my 2 and 3 so if i multiply them 2 t1 plus 3 t2 so this number will be my 2 t1 plus 3 t2 then what is the t transpose sigma of this number because this is my symmetric matrix fine this is my positive definite so you can write it directly it's a you can write like this t1 t2 t1 t2 so it's the t1 square so twice t1 square it's a minus t1 t2 this number is minus t2 t1 and this number is twice t2 square so i can return this is my twice t1 square minus t twice of this plus twice of this quantity so i can substitute this value in this equation you will get as exponential quantity iota times 2 times t1 plus 3 times of this minus what is the value of this this quantity and if i divide it by 2 it will be my t1 square minus t1 t2 plus t2 square fine now you can open this bracket it will be exponential of 2 iota t1 plus 3 iota t2 minus t t1 square plus t1 t2 minus t2 square is the required characteristics function of this x so this is the way you can find the characteristics function of the any random variable x i hope you can like my video and subscribe my youtube channel now uh, this is iota fine and this is iota times and this is the required characteristics function of this random variable x we will see the next lecture on the visard distribution till then you can like subscribe and comment on my video thank you very much students happy learning